Hello everyone, welcome to A Sprinkle of Fun Canvas Painting. My name is Kimberly, I'm your host today, and we're going to be painting the Flamingo in Sunglasses. So before we get started, everybody make sure you put your name and your age in the chat so we can do our raffle at the end. And if you have any questions during the lesson, you guys can put it in the chat on the side as well. I have Julie here, she's going to be Hi answering. Guys. Uh, I have everybody on mute right now, this way everybody can hear me, but if you do get stuck and have a question, you can unmute and ask as well. Before we get started, everybody should have... Okay. Everybody should have a paper towel, a cup of water, two brushes, you have your dark blue paint, light blue paint, pink, black, red, and white. All right, so we're going to start with the big brush today. You're gonna to take that out, make sure it's dry. Dry it on your paper towel if you had it in the water. And we're going to start with pink. We're gonna outline our flamingo first. So we're going to take a little bit of pink and right in the, circle, right in the center of the canvas, we're going to make a pink circle. And don't fill anything in yet, we're just sketching for now. So just a pink circle. And then we're going to take a little more pink. And we're going to add his neck. And it should look like the number six now. his neck, pink circle. We're going to add another circle for his head, right at the end of his neck on top here. And that one's gonna be smaller, because we want his head to be smaller than his body. And you could fill his head in. And then you're going to fill in his body with the pink as well. Make sure you don't use too much paint. You want to spread the paint out so that it dries nice and fast. All right, I'm going to let everybody catch up. So you had your first step was the circle your curved line, number six, and your head right on top and fill those two in.
right, for the next step, we're going to use the same brush, the big brush. So you want to make sure it's clean. And then dry it on your paper towel. And we're going to do the sky next. So we're going to take the light blue on the big brush. And right underneath your flamingo, we're going to make a line right across. That's just going to be a line to guide us because everything above the line, we're going to paint with the light blue. So now everything on top of this line, we're going to do light blue. And you can use your big brush. Once you get close to the flamingo, if you want to use the small brush to get in there, you can do that as well. And remember to spread the paint out because the paint, little paint goes a long way. You don't want to put too much on there. It doesn't dry. All right, remember if you are cleaning your brush in between this to make sure it's dry. If your brush is not dry, you're going to get drip marks going down your painting. All right, once you're finished, you can put your brush in the water. I'm just going to give everybody a minute to catch up. Don't forget to put your name and age in the chat here. We're going to do a $25 Amazon gift card.
All right, I see, I see people still painting, so I'm just going to give you another minute, and then we're going to move to the water. And for the water, we're going to use the big brush again. So you want to clean it and dry it on your paper towel. Now for the water, we're going to use the dark blue. So you're going to take the dark blue and fill in all this white here on the bottom. We're going to fill that in. All right, so now there should not be any white on your canvas. Dark blue on the bottom, light blue on the top, and your pink flamingo sketch. And when everybody's finished, just put your brush in the water so I know you're ready to move on to the next step. I'm still just missing a few names from the list. So once you guys get a chance, just make sure that you wrote your name in the chat so that I don't miss anyone for the raffle. Sophia, do you have a question? Go ahead. Um, I didn't write my, my, my mom only didn't write my name down. I did. I wrote your name. Okay. <laughs> I have you, Sophia. Don't worry. <laughs> Sophia, can you write your name down? Yes. Yeah. Sophia, can you write your name down? That's okay. If you're not here, we'll, we'll get in contact with you. We'll be here. Okay.
All right, so by this time, your flamingo should be dry. And we're going to move on to his feathers. So we're gonna take the small brush now. Make sure it's clean and dry. Now what we're going to do first is we're going to take the white and we're going to make lines from the center coming out of the flamingo. And you want those lines to be curved, not straight. And for these next few steps, we're not going to be cleaning the brush. So you can leave the white on the brush. Now you still have white on your brush. We're going to dip it into the red. And we're going to do the same thing. And as you keep going, your red is going to turn into a dark pink. So as you go around, it should start looking like a big furry ball. And then at this point, if you guys can hold up your canvas so I can see exactly what everybody's up to and just hold it to your camera. Good. All right, so also make sure when you're going around, you're going outside the circle you made first. 
So we made that pink circle. Make sure you're going outside that circle a little bit. And then if you're finished with this part, you're going to just put your brush in the water. We're going to wait for everybody else to catch up. If you feel like you need help, you can hold your canvas up to the camera and we can help you. Okay, let's get the closer to it. Oh, I have a question. Yes. Does this look gray? Okay, does it look gray? Right, right. No, she's yes. asking you if her feathers look right. Yes, they're coming yeah. out, yes. You want it to, you don't want it to be one color. There's white, there's red, there's pink, all those colors you want to be able to see. Okay. So we All right, so we're gonna stick with a small brush so you guys can clean that off. Now we need to get, we had three colors on there, so you guys need to clean that really good now and dry it on the paper towel. We're going to do our sunglasses next. Everybody's going to take the small brush, nice and dry. And we're going to take black. And we're going to do his beak first. So on the end, up here where his head is, right on the end, we're going to make a triangle. Fill that in. And then we're going to take a little more black and we're going to make two thin lines. These lines are going to be for his legs. And you don't have to go all the way to the bottom, just halfway through the water. We're going to fill this in with some waves later. So two thin lines. And then we're going to move to the sunglasses. We're going to use black again, so you do not need to clean your brush. Now 
Now for the sunglasses, right where his eyes would be, we're going to make a black line going across. And then underneath that line, we're going to make a W. And then you can fill that in. All right, so he should have his two legs, his sunglasses, his beak. Sunglasses should be filled in. And then we're gonna move on to the next step. For the next step, you're going to need your big brush And this brush has to be super dry right now. So dry it on the paper towel really well. And you can see on my brush here on top, the bristles, I'm just gonna move them around and spread them out a little bit. That way you know it's nice and dry. And now we're going to do the waves. So see how my brush is spread out a little bit? It's not flat. For the waves, we're going to use white, but I want you to look at my brush and see how much paint I put on it. It's very, very little, very little bit of paint. I'm gonna do one wave at a time. just like little rainbows. And you don't need to grab paint every time you do a wave. Keep going until the paint is all gone off your brush. So the, so the bottom of your painting should not be completely white. You still want to see the blue in there. So that's why we're only using a little bit on our brush. 
and make sure you come over the water line to make it look like the waves are going up. All right, so we just have a few more small steps. I wanna give everybody a chance to catch up. In the meantime, I'm going to show you next week's painting and what we're going to be doing. So for next week, we're going to be creating monsters. So we're gonna do this monster together and then I'm gonna have you guys create your own. And I'm going to give you guys um, a sheet of eyes and a mouth and different things you can do. And we're going to do that together. So for next week's painting, the code is MONSTER5. And it's good until Friday for $5 off on the Canvas lesson. So that'll be for next Wednesday, May 13th. All right, and I think everybody is caught up here. So what we're going to do now is take the small brush and dry it off. And we're going to add some finishing touches. So we're going to start with the sunglasses and just a little bit of paint. We're just going to make two thin lines in the sunglasses. Small brush. And then after that, you can take a little more white and we're just gonna make a little, little line right above his beak.
And now if you want to, we can take black and we can make some birds in the background. It's kind of like an M, very thin. So this painting is all finished. Do not sign off yet because we're going to do the raffle. And I just want to give you guys some time to finish up. And then when you're finished, you can hold up your canvas so I can see how it came out. And then also you can upload your picture to Facebook and Instagram so we can take a look and everybody can see. Oh, they look great. They do look really nice. Yeah. Looks good. Julia, whenever you're ready for Yes, I have the, the winner of this week's raffle is Julian. Julian. So we will send the Amazon gift card to your email. It's under Robert. Oh, okay. Yeah, I saw you looking. Yes. <laughs> he wrote his name in the group chat. That's All why. right. All right, so I'll make sure to contact them for the, for the raffle. And then also for adults, we have adult night next Wednesday. Yeah, I see Kyle's mom, she's in. Oh, I'm sorry, next Thursday, May 14th. Thursday, May 14th. And you guys could see that on the website at sprinklefun.com. And then we also have virtual birthday parties that we started. Party packages, you guys can look at that at sprinklefun.com. And we hope to see you guys next week for the monster painting. Thank you guys. Thank you. So thank you. Yeah. All right, and Robert, I'll be in contact with you. Bye. Next week, monster. Oh, there's Serena. Bye, Serena. Bye. Bye, Julia. Bye. 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 Bye, Julian. How'd you do, Olivia? Bye, Olivia. Bye, Olivia. You should on mute, so. <gasps> Whoa. Thank <laughs> you.